long story short, so James goes on a test to actually see how bad mouth breathing actually is for us humans. Um, and so he has this very, um, he has his nose doctor come in and basically they run all these labs on them. They do a two week study. I think it was 10 or 14 days. I don't remember the exact amount of time. And they basically put, um, you know, these things inside his nose to basically remove and obstruct any oxygen that can be uh, breathed in through the nose. And they have him just breathing in through his mouth only for the time being. And um, it's quite fascinating to see. I mean, within two weeks, you would think that after seeing all his vitals, that this person developed some type of crazy disease and is about to die. Um, appreciate the heart. Uh, for those of you watching, feel free to put your name on the comment section as I cannot see you guys on on the live. But anyways, they did a test on him. Uh, you know, VO2 status, which is a measure of how much oxygen your mitochondria are absorbing. Um, went significantly down, um, uh, sleep uh, went down, cognition went down. I mean, they ran a lot of different tests um, on him. His heart rate variability really, really went down, um, again, which is another measure of like your fight or flight response. Um, and there was very a bunch of different variables that they were testing um, in his blood. His cytokines went up, um, which are immune cells, so they were fighting something. Um, when they took the nose things out of his nose, there was all types of bacteria and things inside his nose that they basically had to, he had to like now deal with after that, right. And developed asthma type symptoms and issues from it all from mouth breathing. No, I mean, you're talking about a very healthy guy, uh, with no issues and then taping up the nose and not allowing oxygen in and just breathing through the mouth created all, um, uh, all these issues. So it was very, very, very fascinating. Um, so then they get into the science of breathing. 